Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have an obnoxious idiot in court who pushes one of my favorite judges, Judge Simpson, just a bit too far. So let's begin. Court calls the case of the people versus Shabab Jackson. We're ready on that, Matty. Laura Willenbring for the people. Mr. Jackson, could you state your name for the record, please? Shihab Jackson. Your Honor, today is the date and time set for the probable cause conference. My client respectfully requests that this matter be set for preliminary examination at the earliest possible date. April 4th, 2023, 9 a.m. before me. What happens, be, uh, what happens before now and then with the uh, concerning bond? You're out on bond now, Mr. Jackson. Is there some aspect that you want to have addressed? Yeah, I have to. Well, it's Ramadan right now, and I have religious obligations as well as work obligations in general. And for some reason, it wasn't a drug case or have anything related with drugs. And I'm on, a, what do you call it, the uh, the daily reporting thing. And I believe I may have, uh, I think I missed my mine yesterday. I don't mean to be in violation, but I'm I'm just sort of, struggling with that and confused as to why that is. Your Honor, um, if there's a way to lessen that or like, I don't, I don't see the reason for being on for drug testing. Given that your default position in life is your head up your ass, I can definitely see why drug testing is necessary. And it's best that you don't forget that if drug testing was part of your bond conditions, which allow you to walk as a free man while you await trial, then it's probably in the best interest of your freedom that you do exactly as you promised you would when they released you. Your Honor, having heard what Mr. Jackson has, uh, has stated, we'd ask that, um, the tether aspect or the drug testing aspect actually uh, be reduced in this case or dismissed in this case. As he stated, there is no um, drug aspect to this case whatsoever. And this just uh, serves as um, an, an added burden on him. He's on intermediate supervision. Um, I'm not sure why. It's set by the I'll, I'll handle it, Mr. Jackson. I, I got you. As set by the magistrate back in the beginning of March. I'm disinclined to change that at this point. I guess I, I'm not sure why his testing, um, why Ramadan would interfere with his testing. Um, I understand that he may have certain obligations, but um, I have other individuals who are engaged in uh, the celebration of Ramadan who aren't having these issues. Well, it's not so. celebratory, sir. I just fail to see the connection with, with, with the nature of my case and having to go out of my way and pay money that I really don't have in time that I don't have to to drug test on this matter. Yeah, that's kind of what bond conditions are all about. See, you've allegedly done something that's brought you before this court in a criminal matter. And to minimize your flight risk while you await your trial, the court has determined that you shall test regularly for substances. Unfortunately for you, regardless of the inconvenience, it's not a request. It's a requirement. Especially that's not a it. that's not a basis for me to change it. I thought that what he was indicating, because he had started out that it was Ramadan, and I thought that there was some interference with what he had to do. But I'm not I'm not changing it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave his bond as continued. We can see him on the fourth. Thank you, Adam. So is it not possible to amend the uh, the the drug testing, Your Honor? Um, I understand it's is the different. Is it just a okay? So hold oh, hold on yes, hold sir. on. I think I already said that, and I wasn't going to say anything. I, I will make, Ms. Willingbury, I'll make all the changes that you want. I'm just going to tell you something, sir. Yes, sir. What, I am, I will do what I can for people. I am yes, also sir. very of those that work around me. I got a message that you were very insulting to my clerks. So to you who? ought to be that I'm Mr. letting Jackson, you. Jackson, stop talking. I can't hear. I'm, I'm just seeking clarity, sir. Mr. Jackson, stop talking. I'm not talking. Sir. So, um, 
That's the one you just did. See, it, it's it's that attitude that's the problem. So what Sir, I'm going to do is I will. Oh, 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 you need to be quiet. I am. Be quiet as in shut the fuck up. Not be quiet as in keep running your window liquor until you get held in contempt of court. Keep in mind, if you get found guilty of criminal contempt, that too can be a violation of your bond conditions and your bond can be revoked. Sir? Mr. Jackson, let the judge talk. I'm and not, I'm, I understand. I'm not sure if there was a mute or something. I'm just making sure. I understand. Okay, so you don't have to respond to everything that's said. You don't have to get the last word. That's not. A I'm thing. not trying to. My life is on okay. the line here. All that's right. all. That's all. I'm okay, you know all. what? You know what? Put some it. deputies at that door right now, right down there at the door. Because he apparently just called security to get him down at that door. Because apparently he doesn't want to listen to his attorney. He doesn't want to listen to me. Sir, I'm just seeking clarity on the matter. That is all I, I promise. I'm, a, I'm just, I'm, I'm a black man in the system just trying to fight for his freedom. That's all. Okay, so am I. So You're don't not even try it. Your freedom, don't sir. even don't try it. Don't even try it. Don't even try Alan, what, get sir? Down there. Tyree get down there. Just get down there, Alan. Alan. Black just get down there. there. Take him in. You know, Judge Simpson is the last judge you want to play the race card on. He's a fair judge, and he's extremely sympathetic towards the people before him, and he will respect everyone that shows his court respect. And I, for one, have never seen him show a bias, positive or negative, towards somebody based on their skin color. And yeah, you guys heard Judge Simpson right. He just ordered the bailiff to go to the room and get him. Because this wannabe unibrowist decided to act like he was high on Elmer's glue in a room dedicated to Zoom court just down the hall from Judge Simpson. Let's just say the time for him to leave was 10 seconds ago. I'm, Sir, I'm, I'm going to find you in contempt for interrupting the court. I'm not uh, Mr. Brown, if you've got somebody down here... Uh, sure, he can come in and he can see me in person. We'll wait for a prosecutor to get down here and I'll deal with this in person. I'm passing it right now, but right now he's being taken in because I'm not dealing with what him. About, I'll sir. pass this matter. Sir. Mr. Jackson, if you will just maintain your... Court does call the case the of the people of the state of Michigan versus Jessica Lynn Kyle. In Michigan, Atra, first assistant prosecuting attorney on behalf of the people. Zachary Ward on behalf of Ms. Keel, Your Honor, can we approach very briefly on this matter? You really want to go into a room with me Your right Honor, now? Your Honor, sure, I, I don't think you, yeah, Your Honor, give us a bench conference. Your Honor. Mr. Ganatra and Mr. Ward into a room with me. I really enjoy watching Judge Simpson, especially after he stomps the eyebrows off of a modern day Neanderthal. But once he's finished, he immediately collects himself and keeps it lighthearted for the next attorneys. Now for this next part, the defendant returns to the courtroom later on in the docket and does exactly what all of you have been screaming at your monitors for him to do and shuts up long enough for his attorney to defend him. Court recalls the case of the people versus Shaham Jackson. Senior Assistant Public Defender, representing Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson, would you state your name for the record, please? Yeah, All right. We're here. I set this already for preliminary examination, and it didn't seem to me, quite honestly, that the defendant was being cooperative with anything, and I didn't know what his problem was. And so I was considering revoking his bond and having him set. But I would like to give him an opportunity or have counsel explain to me what's going on with this young man, because the behavior was unacceptable. I've had an opportunity to talk to Mr. Jackson, and I want to start with that. We did talk about, and I was able to explain to him what um, contempt is considered in court. We went over that the definition is a willful act, omission, or statement that tends to impair the authority or impede the functioning of the court. In the course of our conversation, I learned that in 2015, so approximately seven years ago, during Ramadan, Mr. Jackson was incarcerated and his grandmother died and he was unable to get a pass, go to the services, spend any last few days with her. And so this time frame specifically is very triggering, but definitely, um, with him being involved in court again. He has indicated that he would allow me to do the talking today to demonstrate um, 
to demonstrate just what he's doing right now. And so uh, with that, we are asking that Your Honor give him another opportunity to come into court on his own. I don't know. Should we give him another chance? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section while we listen to what Judge Simpson has to say. Well, and I... I'm going to tell you from my standpoint, he kept trying to overtalk me. And that ultimately, and you can tell him his game, he might just be before me. That's not, that it will never happen. <laughs> and then, but what was so bad is the person that's trying to help you, Mr. Brown, is trying to get you to be quiet. And you kept talking. And I don't know what you where you thought you were going to get to. But I can tell you right now, you do that in my court, this is where it leads. I can't tell you necessarily that you're going to listen to your attorney, but you're certainly not going to sit up there and interrupt them. And. I'll tell you, I've been doing this for a long time. And when I see somebody that's not listening to their attorney, especially somebody that's esteemed as Mr. Brown and others telling you what to do, that's a person that's not going to listen to anything. I have to almost believe they're not going to listen to anything I'm telling them to do. Those are the people that end up getting themselves incarcerated. I'm then also very disturbed that you've got, you've got defense counsel and then you're down at the prosecutor's office. I don't even, I don't even know why you're down there. Well, you're trying to give them something or whatever, and you're trying to give them something. You haven't told your attorneys that you, what you're doing. That doesn't even make any sense. It's almost like you want to get locked up. I will be honest with you, sir. Um, you know, I looked at the charges and see your previous record. I get what may have happened to you in 2015. I see the timing of it when I'm looking at your record. But then I see what you did afterwards. Whatever your thoughts are, you just got to do better. There is no reason coming in here today that this should even be occurring. Tell you what, I'm going to trust Miss Gaines. Miss Gaines tells me that I should give you another chance. And Mr. Brown told me the same thing, that I should give you another chance. These are these people you won't listen to, by the way. But if they tell me to give you another chance, I'll give you another chance. But I'm going to let you know. <laughs> you don't have any other opportunity with me to mess up. You mess up, I'm sending you. Am I understood? That I guess? Yeah. I'm also going to add a... So I will continue his bond. He can be released to custody. I have the amended complaint. I am going to um, also add as a condition of his bond to be entered into lien that you are not to go um, within 500 feet, except if you're going to, well, that's outside of the 500 feet of the Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office in downtown Ann Arbor. You understand that? Pardon? He's going to get it yesterday. All right. Very good. So we're adding that to lean. So I want you to know what that means. If you're within 500 feet of their offices, police officers come on you. They can arrest you on that. On that. So don't say you didn't understand because I explained it to you. Anything further? No, thank you. All right. His bond can continue. He can be released.
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. It looks like the compassionate side of Judge Simpson prevails, which is probably the right thing to do, especially since I believe this guy's a level five shitbag and we're gonna see him in criminal contempt in the future. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic and I'm out.